Hello and welcome to Geekspace. It's uh, another video for us to be on the website. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just at first, the scenery's a bit different because we're actually in my house. We had a bit of a problem with uh, location. Uh, uh, not your house. This is this is Geekspace. Uh, it's our second headquarters. This is yeah, <laughs> this is a headquarters, not not a house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, basically we're going to give you an update on both the site and the movie and game world, so... Yeah, well first, we're going to talk about the site, because we've got a lot of exciting stuff going on. Some really exciting yeah. stuff, yeah. Um, our writer, Bobby, is, you know, thank you for this, Bobby. Uh, Bobby is a fellow writer for... Well, this is, this is going to be the first time he hears it, if he watches this, he better watch it. Yeah, watch it, yeah. <laughs> he is being promoted from a writer to a developer. Well done, dude. He's got a great new design and he's actually he's affecting the site like we didn't really expect so he's doing really well what he's doing at the moment. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff uh, coming your way from Geekspace. I mean, namely the uh, layout. The layout is gonna it's gonna be a huge change for you guys. I mean, massive change. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be like a n whole new site, but obviously it's not. You're gonna have the same writers, the same content, so not to worry there. Uh, well, first of all, let's get into the shop. It. The shop. Oh. Well, the, also, there's a new feature to the site. Uh, it's called Watto's Junk Shop, another feature of Bobby's yes. there, which is um, we've recently become an affiliate with a company called, what are they called? <laughs> Split Reason. Split Reason. <laughs> we know the name of our fellow company. <laughs> yeah, basically they sell geeky shirts, you know, men's, women's, they sell gifts and stuff like that. So we should have a brief few links set up on the site soon. So head over to that, check it out. If you're a man, go on men's wear. If you're a woman, go on women's wear. If you're not, neither or both, then go over to the gift section and buy a gift for a friend. <laughs> if you're a member of diet, then you man. Or a woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> right, before we offend anyone, we're going to get straight into the actual news. So, um, firstly, it's not really news, but it's something that's exciting. I don't know if any of you guys have seen or heard about it, but there's a new um, Dark Knight Rises billboard in uh, Los Angeles that everyone's talking about. Have you heard about this? Uh, is that the one where it's actually got the hole? It's basically just... I say billboard, it's basically half a billboard, and it just says July 20th on it, obviously the release date, and it's in the shape of a bat. I mean... Yeah, that was, that's really good thinking. I saw I mean, that on Reddit. Two words, speak a thousand words. I mean, just the whole billboard is just incredible. <laughs> well, I think, I think less is more, and especially when it comes to getting people into the seat when it comes to a Batman flick. Well, Batman have always been known for their like viral campaigns, and the biggest one this year is, uh, I don't know if you've seen this, I have, and read through them all. Like compulsively, is uh, they've released uh, Gotham something newspaper. They basically released the newspaper articles, uh, you know, set as if you're in Gotham in the fictional town, basically just giving you some hints about what's coming our way. There's been some heists, there's going to be obviously the big Harvey Dent day. I'm really excited, I don't know if you can tell. I've seen that, but I feel as though, oh yeah, before the video is going crazy, yeah. <laughs> I'll check it out, I'm yeah. I'm going to check that out. Um, yeah, on the, on the game front, well, Listen, me and Tommy, we kind of, we was a bit unfair to the Wii U when we first heard about E3, and we haven't had any complaints or anything, but I've read into it a bit more, and, you know, I've come to the conclusion that it's, you know, it really is just awful, <laughs> okay? I mean, the whole concept, the, the price, and everything about it just doesn't really appeal to me, and, like, I've looked at some... I think, sorry, I just to intervene there, but I think the only reason it's so bad because Microsoft bought something out that is so much better. Overshadows it. <laughs> like completely. Yeah. I mean, you'd think maybe if the Wii U was brought out, then a few years later, Smart Glass comes out and, you, and it just sort of blows, you know, Wii out of the way. But it's at the same time. I mean, it just brings. Why are Nintendo so behind? Well, why? I, I, <laughs> I seriously don't know, but of course, if you haven't seen the Zombie U video, the demo E3, we're going to put a link to that right here. Here? <laughs> right, it's gonna be it's gonna be right right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, he gets pissed that I seem to get it right every single time. Yeah, I'm the one that edits it as well. I, I edit it all the time, and I still put it in where he puts it. Just because it's mine. Come on. Man. Yeah, shut yeah. up. <laughs> but yeah, right. anyway, like you know, the zombie U it's not looking innovative, uh, innovative at all. It seems like <laughs> very few new things. It's a zombie survival game. You've got a new piece of equipment, but that doesn't make up for poor repetitive gameplay. I'm sorry, Nintendo. I mean, I have a Wii. I play, you know, Super Mario games. I love that. Zelda, I'm on that. But Wii U, feels like you're just, on. <laughs> feels like you're just trying to rob me. <laughs> um, back to films. I mean, I'm going to sound arrogant. Uh, you are. I'm just always right. <laughs> uh, but basically, 
A lot of people have been saying there might be Robin in the new Dark Knight film. James, uh, J sorry, Christopher Nolan himself has said there isn't. There's just been a few cheeky cameo hints, like in this viral campaign, obviously a big thing in the trailer was the whole American football game with the crumbling great, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. That looks awesome. Basically, it was meant to be a uh, celebratory uh, Gotham Rogues, and that's the name of their like American football team uh, in the fictional town of Gotham. And uh, basically, they're going to be doing a uh, you know a game on Harvey Dent Day, you know, as a ce celebration. Yeah. And uh, you see in the newspaper, a, like people holding up a sign saying "Rogues," and the R is the exact same R that Robin uses the logo. But that's all it's going to be—just hints. I'm afraid it's just going to yeah. be cheeky little hints. I mean, <coughs> I'll put my hands up right now. If you're watching this and Dark Knight has been out and there was a Robin hint in it, I'm sorry I was wrong, but I, I, I don't think I will be wrong. And the great thing is, he said he was always right earlier, so if this video's up uh, after the film comes out and there is a Robin, please do comment and rub it all up in his face. Right, well, if Robin's in it, then I will record the next Geekspace video naked. <laughs> it's been said. I feel so we all lose in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we'll see anyway. But some, some exciting film news that I know you're excited about. Got in it. it hasn't. What? That's not what I'm talking about. Aww, what are you talking it's about? got Liam Neeson in it. Oh, that's <laughs> better than vampires. <laughs> right, Taken Two. Oh, oh we, <laughs> would, we would shout, but we don't have the mics. Yeah, new mics. That's right. We're, we're like technologically in invaded. Hello. Yeah. See. Yeah. But yeah, Taken Two. Oh my God. I mean, funnily enough, Shane actually knows more about this than I do. Yeah, well. Well, well, one main premise is this one, is that the bad guys, well, I mean, what stupid mother beep, would go after Liam Neeson? They're going after Liam Neeson this one. Uh, I don't know if his daughter's going to be in it, but it's the same guys that took his daughter from what I've heard. And they're going after Liam Neeson, which is not something I'd suggest, as in the first film, he kicked ass all over the shot. But it's going to be awesome on so many different levels, but I think Tommy's more technical when it comes to this sort of thing. I'm just here to talk. Well, I'm just like a Liam Neeson fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> well... At the end of the day, as far as Geek Space goes, we are both fanboys, so that's the way that, that's just the way it is. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of games, Shane's a fan of films. I know more technically about films, Shane knows more technically about games, but we're both excited still. That's just the way it is. Don't ever do that again. Why? Because that was just horrible. Whatever that was leading to, I mean, I could, I could sense a whole musical number that he was going to go into then. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? No. <laughs> I was right. Um, but yeah, what you referred to earlier, talking about vampires, was something yeah, that I cannot wait for. Martin Luther King Ninja Assassin! Yeah! What? <laughs> no, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Justin Yes! I mean, I don't know if you've seen the trailer. If you haven't, you should have, and I'm going to put a link in right here. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, it, it, looks it looks awesome. Seriously, like, crazy good. I mean... I'm Abe Lincoln swinging axes at vampires. I'm not sure if I like the Abe Lincoln part. Why? That just makes it better for me. Would you rather random dude vampire hunter or would you rather Abe Lincoln vampire hunter? I'd rather Martin Luther King Ninja Assassin. Well... <laughs> okay, well, if we ever... If Geekspace ever makes, say, two million, two million pounds, we will make Martin Luther King vampire... Uh, what was it, sorry? Vampire... Uh, uh, Ninja Assassin. Ninja Assassin. We will make Martin Luther King Ninja Assassin. Oh, God! I actually, for a school media project once, uh, came up with a film. It's called Mother Teresa, Missionary or Mercenary. That'd be a good make as well. <laughs> That's oh, some yeah. exciting stuff. Anyway, like, back to the real film world, not our boyhood dreams. That will never come true. So, well, yeah, <laughs> we've got, um, well, I'm looking at Tommy's screen. Yeah, he's looking at my notes because, you know, films are more exciting than games at the moment. Dread. I don't know. I don't know if you guys on the website check out the comic section. We've got a great writer, Steve. You should check him out. But um, I don't know if any of you guys are fans of 2000 AD. But I think, well, I know for a fact that their biggest selling comic of all time, Judge Dread. I don't know if you ever saw the 80s <laughs> sly film. You know. That was awesome. I don't know. It was a good film. It was one of those films that everyone hates. You know, but mainly hates to admit that they love it. It's, it's a weird one. I mean, but yeah, the new one looks awesome. I mean, 
Oh, you can't get better than judge, jury, and executioner in one guy. That's just the coolest line ever. Well, it's going to be an awesome, awesome film. I mean, we're seeing, you know, Dread, we're seeing the rookie. Basically, they're going to be taking out our whole building, like 200 floors, and some terrorists. Basically, there's a drug gang around the city. Whenever you take it, you uh, perceive time at, I, th I believe it's like 1% of normal time, so everything seems in slow motion. And uh, yeah, basically, the judge has got to bring this down. Sounds pretty exciting, doesn't <coughs> it? Well, if that's the way drugs are going in the near future, then uh, we better take it up quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, don't know, but I don't know if you're yeah. presenting the right message uh, there. Stay away from drugs unless they all have time perception. <laughs> that's true. That is like a superpower, so... You know, hang on to these words. Literally, in the future, that's going to become a motto. Don't stay away from drugs unless they all have time perception. Brought to you by Geek's. <laughs> Well, the future's cool in sci-fi, but I've got to admit, for me, I like stuff that should be from the future. That's in the present, like Transformers. I said it, I said it straight away. Transform. I love Transformers. I mean, the worst part of Transformers is it's like Star Wars. So many flaws. Well, I, well actually, I, I think the worst part of Transformers is Transformers Two. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the main premise of Transformers Three was a plot hole. They wanted to teleport their planet Cybertron oh. to Earth to make yeah, human we, slaves <coughs> but if their planet came to our planet it's a lot bigger than our planet it would cause great shit I mean if the moon came closer to Earth it would create you know crazy geological I don't know what I'm talking about tidal waves you know wi wiping out yeah, yeah. Wi wiping out countries and cities and things like that I mean imagine if a planet which you could see in the film was like 10 times bigger than Earth, at least. You know, it would it would kill everyone. I'm, I'm sure it would. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. Wait, dude, Transformers 3. When was that released? Last year. Last year? That means it was 2011. That does mean it was 2011. You had one to 2011. It's 2012. Sonic comes in and tipped to Transformers will be responsible for the end of the world. Well, I don't know about that, because there's going to be a Transformers 4. <laughs> well, recently, um, everyone was really angry with Michael Bay over the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't hear it. Well, I say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I doubt they would have been teenage. They wasn't mutants. They weren't turtles. They were ninja aliens. What the hell? I mean, everyone's been like slagging off Michael Bay for this, and it's finally been dropped. So that's some good news. Hooray! Well, they was made in the same accent as Daredevil. So. <laughs> That's a geek knowledge for you there. Look it up. Uh, look it up, yeah. Right, anyway, Transformers 4 is meant to be set mostly in space, which is a bit different. I mean, oh, and there's not much, that is pretty much the only info being leaked on it so far, that it will be set mostly in space. I don't know if that means some Earth or no Earth, some Cybertron, no nice, Cybertron. It would be nice to know that Earth's no longer going to be the battleground for massive robots that could wipe us out. I suppose, <laughs> you know, yeah, he'll be sleeping though. I mean, another over <laughs> overlooked thing in Transformers. Sorry, I'm just talking crap over here. <laughs> another <laughs> overlooked thing in Transformers was, um, as we discovered in the first film, they give off a lot of radiation. Y yes, <laughs> Sam should have cancer. It's, it's horrible to see that, but um, <laughs> how could Bumblebee do that? I mean, maybe we'll see, you know, <laughs> Optimus Prime in space, you know, grieving because they killed all humans. Because they gave him <laughs> Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible to think that. Because they gave him But uh, <laughs> for me, that's that's all the film news I've got. What about you? Well, I think if there is going to be any more game news, we should check out the next video because I think we're capping easily our YouTube allowance. Well, um, anyway, I'm going to call it a wrap here. Shane, um, Tommy, check out the site. Facebook, Twitter, subscribe, LinkedIn, like, usual. Tweet, follow. Social network us. Right on my wall, right on my face. Uh, tweet and <laughs> we got them all we got them all thank you peace out bye